Hello guys and welcome back to Bit Truth with your host Mark Luther. In today's video we are doing a daily mining video. Of course it has been a long time since we made a daily mining video and today is the 11th of March 2018 and today my hash rates are pretty up. It's 1090 to 1115 so it's really just constant and that of course I have been like accepting a lot of shares and just having the solutions per second really high. Of course the temperatures are nearly like 67 uh, degrees on one card and 59 on the other one because the other one is on top and the second one is down there so it's getting more heated. Of course my overclocks are 100% on the power limit and core clock 107, memory clock 472, fan speed 85. Of course this is one of the cards, of course they're not synchronized right now, one of them is at 100%. The other one, which is 67, is at 80%. So if I touch that 100% on the 67 uh, Celsius card, what will happen is that it will overheat excessively and reach like an amount of 80 to 85 degrees, which is really bad for a mining card for the 1080. So now getting these things uh, cleared out of the way, let's go for the other stuff on the browser. So really in the last uh, like a few days when I didn't make a video, to be honest, uh, I had some personal issues. Of course, uh, if we reload the nano pool um, like uh, status or let's say uh, things that they show anyways, the last for six hours is 1100 solutions per second. So what I see is one of the cards should be at 100%, the other one is at 80%, which I think is a better solution for the overheating that happens, which is really good. Of course, this is my mining over the period that I didn't actually mention, the 8th and the 9th and the 10th of March. I really didn't talk about my daily mining. As you can see, just a lot of 1000 so if you see here 900 for example that's like for short period of time of course here in the 6th and the 7th of march if you ask me what happened is that we mined on nice hash and got whatever um, had been there to my uh, to my coinbase account and get that and day trade them and getting them on binance so uh, trading is very good right now and uh, mining is very good of course if we go on the cryptocurrency um, marketplace uh, we actually had this um, like a correction let's say uh, this morning uh, which really just affected the market to be honest I couldn't day trade on the morning like I always do and now we just like um, facing a bit of a revive to the like to the to the <laughs> cryptocurrency market let's say and if you think about it the actual Zcash has um, been falling really much and then just pumping up but really what I think that there's uh, a lot of catalysts to this fall. Firstly, the trustee of Mt. Gox, I think he sold a lot of bitcoins that what led to the whole thing to drop down. That's one of the catalysts, not the whole thing. And the amount of regulations, I think, but that didn't really affect that much. And actually, the most affected coin that I found over this period, or this small period of a uh, few days, that if we go down here, let's just see guys, uh, when we had this pump of the Coinbase rumors, you can see that Ripple just suffered and reached about 0 0.6, like, um, uh, it was just a moment ago here, 0 0.691686 uh, Ripple, it was like really down and we really had just a price correction on Ripple which is uh, really, uh, let's say, just a pump and dump, let's think. But, like, what I say is not, like, pump and dump, like, the whole thing just pumped and then, uh, like, dumped really hard. Like, it's not like a pump and dump coin, but uh, what happened is it's an unhealthy, like, pump, which uh, resulted in this small market correction, as you can see here. Sorry for the, the status there, guys. Actually, it reached like uh, about 0 0.75, like didn't reach nearly 0 0.6. That was in the previous market correction, but we can learn a lot of things about Ripple's nature, how it pumps really hard and then dumps really hard. So anyways, NEO is $91.90. I'm a holder of NEO, so I would like it to, hit to reach to like 130 to $140. I might sell some of my NEO positions. Of course my Zcash positions are still solid on Zcash, Binance coin, I really don't like uh, 
trade with the, the BNB coin. I just use it to trade with the other coins. So you can consider as that. And the gainers and the losers of today, guys, of the pumping and dumping market is Jesus coin has pumped and Asia coin has pumped. XGOX. So a lot of these coins, guys, I just like, um, like with all respect to you guys, a lot of these coins just pump out of the blue. So some of these coins just pump one day and dump the other day so the only people who gain from such stuff are the owners of the coin not you the consumer of course you need to be really really fast on this stuff to actually sell your positions on uh, a coin so you can like uh, like uh, benefit from the pump but most of the time people don't benefit from a pump anyways ebitcoin also pumped a bit and the most dumpest coin today that lost a lot of its value is sphere pay and i don't know is this like bitpay another like thing i'm not sure and really the coins didn't like get affected like sometimes you can see the losers reach 100 percent sometimes in some occasions so yeah, th this is the kind of market, but when I was gone, actually a lot of events have happened and I wasn't here to be honest. Of course, the major, um, let's say, Genesis mining heist that happened, more than 600 cryptocurrency mining devices, so we can speculate that they are um, some kind of um, S9s, uh, minor S9s. So we can say that also, which is $2 million, it's as yet recovered. So really, we're still like... Um, up to this thing and I don't think that Genesis mining is really just reviving from this stuff Genesis mining got just a heist the other day in Iceland another problem is that Binance got another heist which is really like strange to see that like these both heists really have uh, like near each other in time but I think this is an old like post I think I w wasn't really like on the um, on this stuff but anyways this will affect like Binance as a company when it comes to uh, when it comes to uh, mining hardware and getting it stolen that gives it a really bad reputation when it comes to security of um, Icelandic uh, Genesis mining uh, company of course crypto exchange Binance on the 8th of March was also like uh, nearly just hacked I think someone ha hacked the their bot or the API the, the trade yeah the trading api keys and he tried to actually withdraw all the money he actually traded with one coin and um, it was the via coin i think he changed a lot of money and he made that price just bump and then i think he sold that positions and then he made like uh, some money but i think that that they are just like recovered all the money that got stolen so uh, nothing to worry about actually all my funds are now now safe but what i'm thinking about that mining to like this is the binance what we're talking about this is the binance address this is the gcash binance address and what i want to say is personally that after this after this hack if someone can basically just try and manipulate the api trading keys of Binance then he can manipulate any trading API keys and we're talking about a small group of people we're not talking about like a huge like if there was like a huge huge let's say a huge um, hacker uh, attack on Binance I don't think it will even stand a chance but I think Binance security is really cool I think that this is really good for their reputation but just for security purposes and just for you not to sleep crying on your pillow on the night it's better that you just uh, buy a ledger nano s like me and just store all your cryptos in there like zcash and neo so um, what i recommend is after this i think that as basically as simple as uh, trading uh, the api keys getting stolen from binance is really not a thing actually and this just gives me an option that we should just like be worried right now to be honest i am not in any exchange to be honest i just like exited all the exchanges all my money just exited binance bitfinex and coinbase uh, which is uh, like uh, nearly gdax okay i sent all my uh, funds to ledger nano s because i don't trust a single dollar with the exchanges you just don't know when the hack will come or when will the next uh, like uh, dump in the security in the companies because hackers will always try to hack they'll always try to find a flaw in the code of the rep of the exchange or any exchange just like many exchanges that got got like uh, hacked in the past 
just like CoinCheck, I think that's a Jap Japanese exchange that got hacked. So what I would actually suggest right now is just that this is actually the reality. Like if you don't believe that people are telling you that don't keep your money on exchanges, you should be worried right now to be honest. And if you don't have a Ledger Nano S, at least store them on like, um, let's say, um, the, like uh, crypto wallets like um, Exodus and these wallets. Of course, I don't use them, so I can't suggest them. I don't know how much are the like... Uh, like the fees or um, how they control or how security they are but at least it's better than an exchange who owns your um, private keys so thank you guys for watching this uh, episode uh, sorry if my voice really just not comfortable these days it's just because i have really a lot of things on my shoulder and really actually the video that i made on uh, part four the finale on irm or ice rock mining really took a lot of time took a lot of time and research like it took me about 10 hours that's without rendering and editing and uh, actually using that because you need to research a lot you need to like prepare all these sources so uh, I respect all the people and really like I'm really just welcome and I really thank everyone who supports me and sends me a message of course we reached a hundred subscribers guys we reached a hundred subscribers guys which make me really really just happy like thank you guys for everything you have done just sorry guys right here I just go and um, I just want to thank you guys we reached a flip 121 subscribers so we've gone through the 100 subscribers we are rallying to the 200 mark which I'm really happy about guys and thank you for watching and thank you for supporting and if you want anything guys just leave it in the comments down below if you need any help if you need any response of course i have a new email down below if you want to email me anything a proof of a scam or a question or you just need any support so thank you guys for watching and see you guys on the next one